Hey guys, welcome to my Rotorcraft tutorial series. In this series, I will show how to use the mod Rotorcraft. It is a 1.710 mod. Um, at this point, the newest version of Minecraft is 1.13 point something, but so it's a bit outdated at this point in terms of the version, but the mod itself is updated fairly, uh, it's, it's updated once in a while. And not updated as in the version, as in the mod itself has new stuff added to it or bugs are fixed. That kind of updated, not new Minecraft version. But yeah, so the mod is made by um, this guy named Reka. He makes many great mods. Um, well, not many. There, uh, yeah, many. He, there's there's a few. Um, I will get into some uh, some of them later, not in this tutorial, but in another. And yeah, in this tutorial I'll be doing Rotorcraft, which is a great mod. One of the first mods that introduced me to modding Minecraft when I saw a video on it on YouTube when I was like, it was a while ago, but it was one of the first mods that introduced me to modding Minecraft. And yeah, so let's just get into it. So the first thing you'll want to do is to craft a book. Well, this book, the book Rotorcraft. Oh, and the all the textures are different than what they normally look like in Rotorcraft because I am using a texture pack specifically made for Rotorcraft and it is quite a good texture pack. In my opinion, everything looks better, but yeah. So again, how to craft a book. It's an iron, two redstone, and six paper, and you get the book. You do start off with this book in your hand. You just start off with it when you spawn, generate a new world. And don't lose it because it will not re respawn. When you respawn, you will not have it. It can be burned and thrown into lava and all the, all the above. So, yeah. And you right click it, you get this. And there's many pages you can go through. Many pages. Many pages. Many, many pages. Oh, and it's still going. And that's it. So yeah, when you when you first right click this book, you will get an achievement um, called actually doing research. I believe is called the name of the achievement. Let me see. Achievements. Um, Wait, oh, there it was. But yeah, it was there. So you will get it. You'll figure out what, if you play this mod. So yeah. So the main resource or material, the main material used in this mod to make things is steel. And you make steel in a blast furnace like you, s like you make steel normally. I mean, there's no such thing as steel ore. There shouldn't be. That's weird. But yeah, so the blast furnace. It looks quite nice with the texture pack I'm using, and I like how th this texture matches up very closely to the texture pack of the small stone bricks. And yeah, I like that. So you see this, this is its inventory tab, or GUI, GUI, however you want to say it. It's inventory, or yeah, it's menu when I right click it, or GUI. I don't know what people like to call it. Some people call it GUI, some people call it GUI, some people call it interface, some people call it inventory, whatever. So, first of all, you will see this area here. Um, these well, these are green. I do not know what you these are for, as I have just updated to a new version of Rotorcraft. Uh, by middle mouse clicking on them, they turn red. So I don't know what that does, but you can see here it says blast furnace, and you have many little slots for stuff. And then there's this temperature gauge. I will show you what that is in a minute. And over here, there's this info bar. You can click this info bar, and it will bring you to the tab, the blast furnace tab in the uh, handbook. So if you want to read this, you can pause the video now. Okay. And... This kind of just tells us some requirements. I'll show you these. And yeah. So how to actually craft the blast furnace. It's eight stone bricks and a redstone in the middle. Yeah, good stuff. And actually, 
one last thing you can click here um, I believe this is because of NEI but clicking this will give you recipes this is because of NEI I think you will you can also find all those recipes in the handbook if you look but yeah I'll show you what this is later um so first how to make steel in the blast furnace you need to put a gunpowder a sand a coal and an iron and ironing it um these the coal sand and gunpowder must be in this order they cannot be switched around or anything like that they must be a coal wait a minute i switched them around wait uh okay i forgot which way they're supposed to go okay so the sand is on top then the coal in the middle and well the gunpowder on the bottom they must be in that order and you must have an iron ingot this iron ingot does not have to be in the middle it can be anywhere you want it but another thing you can do is you can put more than one iron ingot in at a time every time this thing completes a cycle or yeah one cycle is when it crafts yeah it crafts once this little bar will fill up this little arrow like it does in furnaces that's one cycle instead of just doing one it will do all of these at once the max you can do at once is nine at a time and yeah so you don't have to only have one in there you can put multiple and there's more ways you can get more steel than that but i will show you um, again later in this video so this thing does not take a fuel like a furnace does it is different this thing needs to be heated up and as you can see it there's this temperature gauge here and it says 30 degrees celsius it just says it just says that because every biome in the game has a different temperature the biome I'm in right now, which is a plains biome, has a temperature of 30 degrees Celsius normally, so yeah. But to uh, craft steel, as you see here, it must be at least 600 degrees Celsius. So you can heat it with fire or lava, but it must be heated with lava because, well, lava is the only thing that will get it hot enough to actually craft the steel. As you can see, this is 630 Celsius because, well, the biome we're in, that the temperature of that is also added on so yeah and again the info tab so yeah and for all these things it does not always use these up well it, it always uses the coal up every craft crafting cycle but it will not use up the gunpowder or sand every single time and there's a percent chance that it uses it up so for the coal it, the sand has a 0.2 percent chance of being used up the coal again is 100% chance and the gunpowder is 3.6% chance of being used up every crafting cycle. And this can be Im the chances of this could be improved by using charcoal instead of coal, in which case it lowers the the only thing it changes is the per um the percent of it using the gunpowder is going to be a 3. Point, uh, chance of 3.2% of it using it so it's lessened by a tiny bit a tiny bit so if i've crafted it i'll show you how to grind it so just grab some steel grab some coal actually i don't need the charcoal but yeah so the lava to heat it the lava oh don't fly so the lava must be well Touching one face of this it could be underneath, it could be above, it could be on any side, but I just put it behind like this. Now, so let's just put our iron in. Let's put nine iron. Put our sand above. Our gunpowder on the bottom. And our coal in the middle. And you can see it starts crafting. Now, in a second, you should see. Just wait. fireworks were quite loud but yeah so it used up the coal but the gunpowder and sand were not used up and you can see you have nine hsla steel ingots so you're going to need a lot of this that's why you can craft multiple oh, wait not that so if you just put that there you can see it will craft one Okay, see, crafted one. Or you could put three, or however you want. 
probably nine at a time if you can. But, yeah. Okay, so, again, there's another way you can do that. You can use the charcoal. But it, I'm not going to show you because the you're probably not going to be able to see the difference it makes in terms of the gunpowder being used up. But, yeah. So, th the first thing you can do with the steel is you can make a steel block. With the texture pack I'm using, this looks quite nice. Has a nice steel texture to it. Yep. And you can see, you can just craft it like you need to craft a block of anything, or a block of ingot or diamond or whatever. It is just uh, nine steel ingots to make a block. And but there is a better way of making steel than even using the charcoal. This is using coal coke. The coal coke is made in the blast furnace as well using a um you, you put coal in it and you get coal coke except there's no additives you need to put in here it's just coal in the middle of it and that will give you coal coke except this the te mac the minimum temperature temperature has been lowered to 400 degrees celsius so yeah and that makes you gives you coal coke and it can be made into a coal coke block which looks a lot like a coal block except it has it's a bit lighter and not as dark as coal block, but yeah. So again, and the coal coke can be made. Just take these things out. Oh, I don't have my coal. Coke. Um, one second. That's one way to get the coal. Just place this back. So I'll show you. So again, with the coal coke, it does the same thing as steel. You can put one in there, or you could put multiple. And you can see if you have like two in here, it won't do two. It won't do a um, 18 at once. It just does one at once. Well, nine at once at most. See, there are nine. And there's no bonuses or anything. It's just one coal to one coal coke. And the benefit of using coal coke instead of charcoal or coal is that the the sand the the temperature is the same, but the chance of using a sand is now down to 0.1%. It will use one coal coke every cycle, and it has a 1.8% chance of using the gunpowder instead of the 3.2% uh, chance or the 3.6% chance. So it's much better. Also, there's a benefit, another benefit of using coal coke, which I will show you. It is that instead of coal, is it is that the coal coke gives you a chance for it to double or you you're, it has the chance to not just double but mul multiply pretty much not multiply either you get you can get extra so it um each of these squares i believe has when you put an iron in here each of these iron has a chance of it being more than just one when it gets turned into steel when using coal coke and so let's just see if we get it so it was just four there it's not every single time but so if you put nine in there first of all it does nine at a time which is much faster uses less resources as this will not use nine coal coke it will only use one per cycle but here i think we might get an extra yeah see we got 13 there so we got four extra there so using coal coke is a much better way of making steel instead of using coal or charcoal so that's the best way to make steel is get over your bat um the best way of you making steel is with the coal coke and so uses for steel well first thing you can do is you can make some armor and this armor is quite good it is a bit better than a um uh iron armor i don't think it's as good as diamond but it's as good it's better than iron armor and it looks better than iron armor so just wear all of this f5 as you can see looks quite good it's like iron armor but darker well with my texture pack of course it's not my texture pack but it's the texture pack i am currently using i'm not claiming i made anything except this world i i made this um so yeah 
and it also there's such thing as steel tools which are good they're better than iron so the steel pickaxe it has 600 durability and does five attack damage you make it like you would make a normal pickaxe then there's the steel axe which also has 600 durability and si um, six attack damage and three as well two sticks normal stuff shovel yes 600 durability again for attack damage two sticks steel then there's the steel hoe which is made with two steel ingots two sticks 600 durability as well then that's good and also there's the sword the sword is made with uh, two steel ingots as well as a stick and yeah it has 600 durability and does six attack damage very good then you can also make um, a, some shears some HSLA steel shears just two steel ingots mm -hmm. then this is another thing you can make which is a bit special this is the HSLA steel scythe so it's made with a stick a steel 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 like that and this thing it, what it does is um, I don't know to craft adds this but I know you can craft it as steel so therefore it is in this tutorial now let me just grab some of this stuff so what it does is it the scythe you it's really good at breaking plants so whether that's like grass or leaves or wheat or anything you break it it breaks a very large amount of leaves or grass and the axe here it is well axe it is quite good okay so another Yep, so that's all the steel, that's all the basic things you can do, you use the steel for. So, armor, tools, the scythe, that's pretty good if you want to break a lot of leaves for some reason. And I know this is the smell tree from Tinker's Construct. It is not from Lord of Craft, but there is in, there's, this can, please ignore the very shiny tanks. Um, you can use, you can melt steel in the smeltery which looks quite good it kind of looks like blood right now but yeah it has a very nice melted metal texture and you can make well a block you can make a steel block with that you can also use it to cast steel ingots but importantly, you can use it to make steel parts in your um, HSLA steel parts in Tinker's Construct as well as you can use the ingot cast to well make an ingot of it. Then so there's every single part you can make out of steel and they're very good. Oh that's um Oh, that's quite big. Yeah. So you can cast good to um powerful tools with Tinker's construct from Tinker's construct using Rotorcraft uh steel. So, yeah, I think that's going to be it for this kind of episode of r the Rotary Craft tutorial series that I'm doing. So, um, see you in the next one. <laughs>